Okay, so roasting a whole duck at home. I know it might seem a little scary for some. I'm gonna break it down. You won't believe how soft that duck meat is underneath that skin. Oh, look at that. Make it super easy for you guys. It's actually a really easy thing to make at home, particularly if you're entertaining because it's so impressive. Let's get started with the filling or the fragrance and the little flavors we're gonna put inside of the duck first because um, we'll deal with how we cook the duck a bit later. So I want some garlic first of all. Just want to crush these cloves and I want some star anise as well. It's going to lend a beautiful perfume while that duck cooks. And some slices of ginger and some spring onion. Now I want to take these aromatics and pop them into the cavity of our duck. Now let's talk about the duck and how we can prepare it so that we get the very best out of it when we're cooking. Now have a look here and you can see the duck skin on my duck is very dry. I've patted it down with paper towel. That's important because that's going to help us get nice and crispy in the oven. Now the other thing is that unlike when you're roasting a chicken, the object of roasting a duck is to release as much of the fat as possible. There's a lot of fat in here. With a chicken, we're trying to retain the juices and the fat because that can dry out. So this is the opposite. What you want to do is score the duck so we can get more of that fat easily escaping as it cooks. So I like to do a diamond pattern across the top. Start on the diagonal and then the other way. Okay, so duck is sitting pretty at the moment. What we now need is a really nice salt and spiced kind of rub. So I'm gonna use quite a bit of salt here. The salt also helps with the crispiness as well as the flavor. And then I've got some Chinese five spice. Now this is my homemade version of Chinese five spice and it has the most amazing fragrance. You really notice the difference when you make it at home. So check out my YouTube channel and you'll find the recipe for that one there. Just want a few spoonfuls of that and just give that a mix. And now you want to sprinkle and rub this mixture into your duck very well. Make sure we're getting all the little bits and pieces. Make sure you're getting lots of that spiced salt mixture everywhere. Okay, so this duck is ready to go into the oven and it's going to be in there for quite a while, about three or four hours at a really low heat. And that way we're going to get crisp skin, we're going to render the fat and we're going to get beautiful, really tender meat. So what do we need to cook the duck in? Now, my choice here is a large roasting tray, but instead of having a roasting rack here, I just put some little pieces of foil because we're going to have to take out some of the fat as the duck cooks. And if you've got this on a roasting rack, well then you can't really easily get in there to scoop the fat out. So there is method to the madness here. This just makes it easier. Now, all you need to do is pop this guy into the oven. As I said, take out some of that fat as it cooks. And that's it guys, just a little bit of patience. Okay, now that is looking amazing. Look at that skin. Ah, oh, perfection. Now this skin is so super crispy and tasty. Don't worry if there are a few little imperfections. I'm just gonna cover that up with a little bit of spring onion. Now you won't believe how soft that duck meat is underneath that skin. Ah, oh, look at that. Just a couple of forks. Shred that up at the table. And what it's done is it's almost like it's confit in its own juices and fat. Beautiful. Now I have to try a piece of skin. Mm. That five spice and the saltiness. Mm. So beautiful. Now there are so many different ways that you can serve this duck. One of my favorites is to just get it out on the table so everyone can just tear strips off it and eat it with some fluffy bao buns. 
Now what you want to do with your bao bun is just spread it with a little bit of hoisin, some cucumber and some of that duck. Maybe a little bit more hoisin and some spring onion. And that is such a beautiful way to enjoy this duck. Mm. That duck is so epic. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one. And that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks guys.